in John Keatley's backyard. Hey, 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 calm down, calm down. Is right. his space solution. We've been here about seven years, and right now it's just my wife and I, we work here together. He's an artist. So this is a series that I just finished called Uniform, and this is my first book. He realized a growing family meant less room to work, so they had this built. There's a shower, which is currently a uh, storage closet, so to speak. Right now, yeah, it's where he puts finishing closet. touches on portraits, but he sees potential, how something like this could provide housing. And we talk about it a lot, actually. We would love to, um, you know, added income would be fantastic. I think what's difficult for us is that we need the space. Also, taking on a tenant comes with city rules. Like, I think the city is talking, uh, you know, out one side of the mouth about like wanting to become more urban and reducing cars and parking and stuff, but then you have this rule where you can't have a backyard cottage or a DADU without a parking space right now. Thank you all for being here. That issue. So you will have two minutes. And several more were a part of proposed changes that would loosen limits on backyard cottages, also known as ADUs, accessory dwelling units. The benefits of ADUs outweigh the negatives. One speaker after another offered their support. Me and my family live in a quadruplex that started off as an ADU. We're in a former garage and it's allowed us to live in a walkable neighborhood that we wouldn't have access to otherwise. But Martin Henry Kaplan says he sees problems with the proposal. The proposal before you today dismantles these regulations that guided our research and founded the current code. He cautioned council to not be reckless. My issue and neighborhoods issues with the way that this process has been handled is that neighborhoods have been left out of the conversation. In this backyard, John thinks more dwellings like this could make a difference. I think it could help, and I think we definitely need something in the city. In Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News. Councilman Mike O'Brien says his proposal also aims to discourage the so-called McMansions. There will be more discussion about that in council chambers next week. A vote is possible on July 1st.